Whoa, hit the brakes. You've arrived at the number one drive-by for American history. Welcome to The Pit Stop. Brought to you by In the Pass Lane, the podcast about history and why it matters. Here's Edward T. O'Donnell, your host and historian at large. Hi, everyone. Welcome to The Pit Stop, your Monday morning source for history on the go. Here's what happened in American history this week. Let's start with birthdays. Today, March 12th, is the birthday of Jack Kerouac. He was born in 1922 in Lowell, Massachusetts, not far from where I am right now. He's the author of the classic countercultural work, On the Road, published in 1957, which, if you haven't read it, you should. And if you did read it, like me, in high school, you need to read it again, because, I mean, honestly, what did you know in high school? I certainly didn't know anything. Jack Kerouac once said, I had nothing to offer anybody except my own confusion. He also said, I'm going to marry my novels and have little short stories for children. Wednesday, March 14th, marks the birthday of Albert Einstein. He was born in 1879 in the city of Ulm in Germany. He moved to the United States in 1933 in response to the rise of Adolf Hitler. He became a U.S. citizen in 1940. Three U.S. presidents had birthdays this week, two of them with Irish ancestry which I mentioned because this Saturday is, of course, St. Patrick's Day. Up first is Andrew Jackson, whose birthday is Thursday, March 15th. The seventh president was the son of an Irish immigrant and was born on March 15th, 1767. Friday, March 16th, is the birthday of James Madison. He was born in 1751, and he has no Irish ancestry. But this guy does, Grover Cleveland. He was born on March 18th in the year 1837. A little bit of Irish ancestry. He's also the only president to serve non-consecutive terms. Quick, which presidencies? Yep, the 22nd and the 24th. Three other prominent politicians with Irish ancestry were also born this week. Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan was born March 16, 1927. South Carolina's John C. Calhoun was born March 18, 1782. And he, of course, is the most prominent defender of slavery before the Civil War. And that's why he's back in the news of late because many institutions, including Yale University, have removed his name from their buildings. Also born on March 18th was William Jennings Bryan, another Irish-American. In the late 19th and early 20th century, he ran for president three times and lost all three times. William Jennings Bryan was a populist who championed the cause of farmers and workers against the forces of big business and Wall Street. He was kind of like a Bernie Sanders of his day. All right, what events have taken place this week in American history? Well, today, March 12th, is the anniversary of the 1912 founding of the Girl Scouts of America, founded March 12, 1912. Also on March 12, just eight days after his inauguration, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt delivered his first fireside chat to the American people. Using the relatively new medium of radio, FDR sought to calm people's fears in the midst of economic catastrophe. Here's how he ended that first chat. You people must have faith. You must not be stampeded by rumors or guesses. Let us unite in banishing fear. We have provided the machinery to restore our financial system. It is your problem no less than it is mine. Together, we cannot fail. Wednesday, March 14th, 1794, that's when Eli Whitney patented the cotton gin, which made it easier to refine raw cotton. And Thursday, March 15th, that's the anniversary of the 1972 release of Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather. And all I can say is leave the gun, take the cannoli. Friday, March 16th, also marks the 50th anniversary of the 1968 My Lai Massacre in Vietnam. In this horrific incident, U.S. soldiers slaughtered more than 400 civilians. And this, of course, became a huge controversy when word got out a couple years later. On a happier note, Friday, March 16th, also marks the anniversary of Robert Goddard becoming the first person to launch a liquid-fueled rocket. That auspicious event took place on March 16th, 1927, at a spot about five miles from where I'm sitting right now. And finally, as noted, March 17th is St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day to all. Okay, people, that's your five-minute history fix to set you up for the week. Now put it in drive and go make your own history. (laughs) 